fractions. Here we are today learning a new note, D, a high D. Notice the D up on the staff on the fourth line. This can be a tricky note because it's the only note in which you do not use your thumb to cover the bottom hole. So if you think about the notes we know, remember learning C. Use your middle finger on the second hole, covering the thumb hole. To make a D, the highest note that we're going to reach, you lift your thumb off, but you leave your middle finger on that. So try that with me. Notice what you need to do. You need to have your other hand, your right hand, counterbalancing. Because now you don't have the thumb to kind of hold this in place and your lip. If I didn't have my right hand and I let go of my left thumb, it's going to fall, right? So you need to also know middle finger, second hole. To remove the thumb, we need our right thumb in place. Does that make sense? Take a second just to find out where your fingers comfortably land. Just your left middle finger. Lift up all the fingers on your right hand, thumb under there, and take your thumb off of the left while you're resting lips, or resting the recorder on your lips. Tap your head and rub your tummy at the same time, right? A lot of light air. Do not push hard. Low breath, warm air. If you hear yourself doing this, where it goes from, uh, uh, when it goes up a little bit, you're pushing too hard. And too little gives you an inconsistent breath. So, okay. So let's just practice holding our fingers in that position and breathing through these notes. Remember half note? Two beats, half note, two beats, half note, two beats, half note, two beats. Quarter notes, one beat each. And then we have ourselves a whole note, which is four beats, and we have a repeat. So I'm going to put on my metronome, and I'm going to go slow. Let's go 50 beats a minute. Ready? Get your fingers in place. Think of making a C. And then when you're ready, lift your thumb. Ready? One, two. Ready? Go. Breathe. Tongue them. Repeat. Second measure. I can tell when I haven't played for a while because my breath is inconsistent. I, I hear myself going, uh, that's okay. The more you know about yourself, the better you can uh, improve. All right, let's move on to C and D. So we are practicing between C and D. Remember, C is on the third space from the bottom. D is on the fourth line from the bottom. And the difference in fingers is simply you have your thumb on your left hand covering the bottom hole and your middle finger on the second hole, that gives you C. And then to get D, remember we need our counterbalance. We're gonna lift up our fingers. So the difference is simply this, C and D. I can either tongue through the, the, um, through the nose like, or I can breathe through them and legato and get more like this. Okay. 
So what we're going to do here is C for two beats, D for two beats, C for two beats, D for two beats, C for two beats, D for two beats, and then C for a whole note for four whole beats. And then every other beat, C, D, C, D, two beats of C, two beats of D, C, D, C, D, and then four beats of C. Notice there is no repeat. I will put on 50 beats a minute. Let's try that out. Get your position ready. Remember to have your right hand underneath. Line up. One, starting with, two. Oh, hold on, sorry. Starting with C, so we're starting like that. One, two, ready, go. Breathe. Second line. All right, how'd you do? I noticed um, we didn't really talk about breaths, but I felt like I needed to take a breath after every two measures. You might need to take a breath after every measure. If you need to take a breath after every you know, couple beats, then maybe you're pushing too much or you're not taking a deep enough breath right before you start playing. All right, let's move on to pizza polka. Here we are at pizza polka. Notice we have uh, moderato, meaning a medium speed. And notice our time signature is two four. So there are only two beats for every measure. That's what the two stands for. And the four stands for that each beat is a quarter beat. All right, so we have one, two, one, two, one and two and one, rest. One and two and one, rest. One and two and one, rest. One, two, one, two, one and two and one, rest. One, rest. One, two, one, two, one, rest. All right. Uh, we also have the notes going from G, A, B, C, B, 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 A. What does that sound like? A, B, C, B, 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 A, B, 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 A, 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 G, G, A, B, C, B, 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 A, G, A, B, C, 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 did I have the right note? Okay, close enough, right? Let's go ahead and slow this down just a skosh, a couple clicks, and let's try and play along. Page 15, Pizza Polka. G starts out with three fingers. Remember? One, two, ready, play. Notice they didn't put a D in there. I guess they didn't think it needed a D, but we just learned D. Hmm. I'm going to reset this, and we're going to go ahead and try this once more. Remember, uh, MP, um, as a piano, we're going to be a little softer than... We're going to try and be so loud at a medium speed, so it's going to feel a little faster. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Page 15, Pizza Polka. 
One, two, ready, play. I don't know if you noticed what happened there, but somewhere in here, I got my C and my B mixed up on my fingers. That happens. So what are we going to do about it? Am I, should I get upset and say, ah, I'm never going to try it again. I can't, I can't make it happen. Or should I just say, you know what? I think I need to practice one more time. I'm going to get it right. And for those of you who want to challenge, let's click it up two notches, two levels of zip. Let's see how we do here. I know I can do this. Page 15, pizza, polka. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. So whatever you do, it doesn't matter if it's recorders or anything. Uh, if you notice that uh, you're messing up, that's a good thing. That's information that it can make you better if you choose to pay attention to it and respond to it appropriately. All right, enough of that stuff. Um, happy practicing. Hope you enjoy uh, learning as much as you can on the recorder. Get to know your instrument, get to know yourself better. See you in the next video.